Okay, Lisa, so we enter. This is the house uh, 11313 Sutherland in Robeson Ranch. Okay, so again, like that other one that we saw on Ottawa, it's very, it's, it's very um, um, neutral colors. The, the, the walls are um, a beige. Uh, even the tile you can see is a, is a beige and that carpet over there is a beige as well. Anyway, so we walk, so we walk in. Uh, right over here on the left is a closet. Bam. Um, let's go over here to the right. We're going to start over here with a, um, with a, um, um, a study, an office, a craft room, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's a good size for that. You could also potentially, I guess, uh, put a door up over here and create that and then put a little uh, in, into that, um, into that uh, uh, concave area over there. You could probably put a closet and make this, you know, a third bedroom. Um, let me go down the hallway here. So these, these uh, cabinets over here are basically linen, your linen closets. Uh, here's a full bath here. This is also the bath that you would use when you had guests. Guests would use this bathroom, you know, um, um, you know, doing a party or something like that. Here's the front uh, bedroom. Um, it's, a, it's a good size. It's carpeted. There's the closet. It's, uh, it looks out over the, um, it looks out over the, um, you know, the front lawn. Um, let's go now to the uh, master bedroom, which is in the back here. I've seen these, this house before, or this style house before. Um, um, nice size master bedroom. Um, very nice size uh, closet over here. So a lot, a lot of uh, closet space, uh, places to, to, to hang, your, hang your clothes, that kind of thing. Um, this, let's see real quick. This uh, sliding glass door is off the bedroom. Uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of bright there, but leads to your back patio. Your, um, your um, master bath is dual sink, no tub. But there is, uh, there is of course, a, um, uh, a shower and the water closet is right there. Let's go to the uh, front of the, uh, excuse me, let's go back into the living room. So you got your living room here, uh, no fireplace. Uh, your sliding glass door is leading outside. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you have your little eat-in kitchen space right here. Uh, some good cabinet space, electric cooktop. Um, there's a uh, there's your um, uh, dishwasher. Uh, that's the area right there where you would stick your uh, refrigerator. A uh, little island here uh, between the eating kitchen and the f uh, kitchen and the um, and the family room. Here's your um, here's your um, uh, laundry room. It's got hookups. Oh, it's got, okay. so it's got hookups here for um, not only electric, uh, dryer, but also gas, which is which is convenient. Uh, your um, garage, uh, standard two car garage, a sink in here, which a lot of them don't have. Um, um, let me see what else. Uh, garage door opener. Um, sprinkler system, that's about it in here. Let's go out back. Um, now a, so a couple things about the backyard here is, um, so it's a nice little, nice little patio. Um, I don't see stub out for gas. But let me check that out over here. No, I don't see a step off for gas. Now, you have, um, so first of all, a kind of a nice backyard. You have, you, you, this property does not have a fence, but there's a fence on the left side and the right side. You could run a fence along the back there and then enclose it um, in the front here uh, for your dog. So it would be, sort of a minimal expense um, 
it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that expensive, but um, the, the two neighbors on either side may ask you for a um, um, sort of a fee, if you will, to use their fence. I can explain that to you a little bit later. The downside to this property here is that um, that road out there is Robeson Road. And you may have heard, maybe hearing that. So that's Robeson Road and that uh, that goes from, you maybe don't know the area, but it goes from 35 and connects, connects 35 to Justin, which is that way, right? Um, and um, you have some good trees back here, okay? Some two good trees, uh, but you, you can hear the traffic. So I don't know how important that is to you, uh, the traffic and the, and the silence, if you will, but um, that's something to uh, take into consideration. Okay, I'm going to end the video now and I'm going to head on up to Savannah and, um, and um, Isabella Village. Talk to you later. Bye.